Okay, guys, so I'm back. So hopefully um, my phone will not stop again because it's saying that storage is full. It's ridiculous. Like, I really need to figure out what phone I can get where the storage ha has a big storage because, I mean, it was a lot in the phone, but I'm just tired of going through this. So let's get back to this. Hopefully it won't say, oh, you need to clear out more stuff, whatever. <clears throat> so after you have all that I told you these um it's good to get products too that go together like this L'Oreal match yeah the L'Oreal true match and then they have the um the powder. Use it together. It's it, it's better when you use products together. If you're going to use multiple products on your face, which sometimes I do, I make sure that they go together. And this is going to give you a nice little... This stuff is nice. I'm telling you, it give you a professional look. And then you also, after... um, You also want to go over your eyelids because the powder... A set the eyelids. I'm telling you, all makeup goes together. So I told y'all that I like on a whimsy color pop. I got this from Ultra Beauty. I swear to it, it's the best. This is my on the go palette now. I also have another palette. That um I like to use sometimes the SpongeBob. Yeah, that's my SpongeBob power. Ooh, ooh. But that's a good one too that I like to use. But I really like this one. And it even has a mirror in there. So let's check this out. So, I'm just going to go in. Um, <clears throat> when you're doing your eyelids, you always want to start with your lightest color. I always start with the lightest color, then I go in with the translucent color. And that's the color that you like always going to use. So, you always go in and dust your eye with the light color. See? And then you're going with um your translucent color. And make sure that the colors go together too. And you're going to put it all over your eyelid. You put the light color. See how it pops over top that um, concealer. And then you put the, um, the color just a little bit. Not really dark, but uh, extra shade a little bit um, darker. And if you wanted to, you could put the the um translucent shade in the crease just like that
this is where um this is actually my favorite part so i'm gonna do this green green and this um dark shade of black so what you want to do like i really don't have to put if you already use um like from here i already use this dark color you don't have to dip in there more anymore not unless it's necessary because you still i still have product on here so it it definitely looks better and it looks more natural if you just use that you know off the um brush that you already used like earlier And you want to close your eye. See? You don't want to go all the way to the other side. That's why you have the, um, the translucent, I hope I'm saying that right, um, powder that you did in the crease. That's why you don't have to go over yeah, You already did that. And you see how it looks more natural. You just go halfway. You don't have to go all the way. like that just like that then um I have a lot of brushes here that I use you can I, I use this one I usually use this one for um for the eyeshadow so you basically dip it in there And you want to start right from here. You see how the nose. Right from here. And you just blot it in like that. And I know it probably doesn't look like it in this video, but this is like a, um, like a green. You just want to buy it like that so you can like fade it in so it'll look natural. And when you have it like that, I usually go back in and uh, fix it up. So that it looks,
So, um, I had that. I like to go over it with this color right here. I don't know why these people fly down this road like that. They're, they're um, idiots. Sorry to talk about people like that, but this is a residential area. You're not supposed to be flying down there because you got kids that be out in the street. I don't know why they be in the street at night. Don't get me lying, but they do. Ooh, la, la. And then I like the, um, I got this at Ulta. Like, um, this came in a pack with this. And, um, it was something else in there, some uh, lipstick or something. But I use this for, like, on the go, like if I'm on the road, I want just uh, a short trip, and I want to pack a lot of my like big stuff. I take this one. And it does the job well. Good day, it really breaks delicious. And I like to use these because I like to use the skinny ones because they grab a lot of the lashes. That's the first coat, y'all. Uh, you do the first coat and let it dry. I have, um, oh, this was the one I was talking about. The Revlon, um, yeah, I still got a little. 
I still got, I still using that. I'm gonna use this up because that it was expensive, but I'm gonna get me some more because I like the way it works. It be having it pop in. Do you hear me? Now I got this lipstick off of um the wish at. Y'all ever heard of the wish at? And it's matte too. Don't sleep on the wish app now. It has some good stuff on there. And it's nice and affordable. But I think I'm gonna take this because I told y'all I'm doing my um like I'm gonna be in the play. And in the play we got um Put on lipstick. Because the play is called Different Shades of Lipstick. So I think what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to get my burgundy lipstick. And I'm going to put it up in here. Up in here and like next it. See. It's pretty. This is one wild too. This is called Big Papa. I love that color. It just looks natural. I think I'm going to get some more from the wish hat. Not this year, though, because me and my husband, we saving up to get a house. Oh, where did it come from? Oh, no. You got to make sure when you go in there, you go in one time. Because if you do it like that, you just make it dry up. And all your eyelashes will be caked. Like, cakey. And pull them out like this. What I do sometimes is just lift it like that and hold it and then press it over. It works all the time. Do like this, hold it. Couple minutes and then press over. Oh, then press all stuff is dropping all over the place. I gotta remember, I'm gonna do that right when I'm done with this. I also Uh, this way and well I'm going to show you what it do let me see
you know where um girls like uh the little darkness or look like you got high cheekbones or whatever look like that you don't have to do this but some people do I can't really see it on this side. I can see it on that side, but I don't know. I can't really. There it is. On that side. And if you want to, I don't know if a lot of people do, but you can contour your nose if you want. You don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I'm just showing you how to do it. You know how most people do it. And then they put um, a little shimmer in the center. And put some shimmer up here. Right here. And down there. It's usually so here, here, and right here. And on the sides. Then, take my hair down. Put Raya down. I want to say, this wig is cute too. I need to wash it. You know what I'm saying? Wash it to wash it to wash it. Put that on right. So after you done done that, I mean it took a little time, but you know your face, you just I usually go two times. Sometimes I do one, but most of the time I'll do two. And my um highlighting powder and precious petals. This one is wet and wild. Told you most of my stuff is wet and wild. My contour palette, wet and wild. See, I love wet and wild. Maybelline, my spray, my L'Oreal match. This this is the stuff that's real that will really set your skin off for if you want to look professional. You want people to be like, oh my god, who did your makeup? This right here, the powder, and then get you the liquid. But I'm telling you, this powder. Is good, and I'm even see if they got. I know they probably got some concealer in there, but make sure you find your color. This is um soft subtle. Don't throw your bottles out, cause when you go to shop for your makeup, you'll have the bottle, and then um you'll know. Oh, I need uh L'Oreal C6. That's my color. I don't know, really know what color 
this really don't have no color on it. But if, when and I do when I do go to ultra altar, I know what it looks like. I know they got this top. I I pretty much know what it looks like, and they keep these in the same place. And I know um, where to go get this. You can get um, Wet n Wild and this Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer LA Girl. You can get this in CVS. I think CVS, Walgreens, and I think Walmart and Target has it too. And this is um, Wet n Wild. That's what I use on my eyes to make my eyes, you know, pop. Elf. Elf is good, too. Y'all see. <laughs> Y'all see how I clean that. And I also have um, Elf cleanser, like the toner. Oh, my God. I got to get some more of that. It is so good, guys. It's so good. So freaking good. It, it's a toner for the skin. It comes in like a clear, light, baby, baby blue, um, you know, a uh, bottle. But yeah, that's good too. And this is my other palette that I love. It's Urban, Urban Decay, Born to Run. And y'all see. <laughs> Like most of them, it's all gone. Especially the, oh my God, I love uh, Blaze. Blaze was really pretty. Weakener. Um, then it had Breakaway. Wild Heart. Those were like purple. Hell Rod was like a, the purple. And man, I used them all. I used most of all of these. Good is Gone is Gone. Um, blue sky is going. One wonder, wonder lust is going. I still have radio. I still have some on here though, but um, I'm gonna just show you this one. It's called since I'm on here. It's called drift. It's like a black and it got. It's like a black, like silvery. I can't explain it, but it's pretty. You put put the dark colors right, right there, and that's it. It's a nice color. Maybelline. Make sure number one tip primer. Good brushes. Like, I have a brush. It's in there. I just didn't feel like looking for it. But it came with three brushes from Alta. I don't know why I keep saying Alta. Alta Beauty. And they were $28. Now, th this brush is wet and wild. This is a good brush, too. I don't really look for brushes for... I mean, it has a little stuff coming on, off. But I don't look for brushes... To look for how pretty the brush is. I want to see is it going to do the job. And these wet and wild brushes. They do the job. So this is the final look y'all. The final look. That's my tips. Um, If I went too fast. You can rewind it back. But you can also go on YouTube. YouTube has some amazing um, people that do makeup. <coughs> Excuse me. 
They even have this <coughs> mm. This cough is getting on my nerves. They even have this um girl. Her name is Brittany Vaughn. Oh my god. I tell you that girl can do some makeup. And um what she does is she does crime stories. I'm about to go on her page right now and see what she's talking about. But um uh, and if you go over there, subscribe to her channel because she puts in work and she gives good content. But she does crime stories. Like she tells you about crime stories and she does her makeup while she tells you. She even um puts down the bottom like it a flash, like what kind of makeup she's using. And um she even put it in her description where you can purchase it. So I'm telling you, her name is Brittany Vaughn, just like it's spelled. Um, they have a lot of people that, um, do makeup. It's another girl. Oh my God. What is her name? I think her name's Syria. I'm not for sure, but if, if makeup, um, you can put makeup and crime stories and all the people that do good makeup will come up. It's all these girls. That come up and they do makeup. And I usually listen to them because I like true crime stories. I love crime stories. And I love makeup. So, <laughs> that's the best kind of channel for me. I love makeup. I love crime stories. And they, they will show you what kind of products they use. But, you know, I, I just told you before. If you don't have concealer, you can just use a uh, moisturizer a moisturizer lotion or try to use a good quality one and you know what I'm saying it'll come out I mean it took it took me I mean I didn't learn make how to do makeup overnight it took me a minute so it's going to take you a minute but those were my tips and tricks okay my tips and tricks oh I'm getting tongue what you call those tongue twisters? Those are my tips and tricks. Oh, I got it. So, guys, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to come on here and do. Um, I'm probably not going to post this on YouTube. I mean, I might post this on YouTube. I'm not for sure, but I know I'm going to post it on Facebook because I don't be over Facebook a lot, so, um, I don't want my friends thinking that I'm neglecting them and stuff like that. So, that's why I try to put videos over there. And then I put videos on my YouTube to make it fair. So, I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.